Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about Abel's formula in differential equations. So two days back, one of the student asked me that, I mean, when I taught this Vronskyan topic in differential equation, he asked me that uh, if I don't know the solution y1 and y2 of a second order homogeneous linear differential equation, then can I still find the Vronskyan? Well, answer to that lies to this Abel's formula or Abel's identity. So I will explain you or I will give you that answer with the help of an example later on. But before that, let us try to see what is this Abel's formula. Okay, so let me derive the formula. What I'll be doing is I'll be concentrating on second order, second order homogeneous linear differential equation with continuous coefficients. This is there is a very general proof for nth order as well and as well as for the system of differential equations but that's quite complicated so let me stick to this so this is my second order linear homogeneous differential equation and let y1 and y2 be the solution of this okay that means my y1 and y2 satisfies this differential equation then question is what is the Vronskyan of y1 y2 and if you recall Vronskyan is nothing but the determinant of first row is y1 y2 second row is y1 prime y2 prime the first derivative so if you know two solutions then using this determinant you can easily tell me what the Vronskyan is but now the question is if you don't know y1 y2 can you still tell me the Vronskyan answer is somewhat yes so let's try to see Abel's formula for that now Vronskyan of two function is defined like this right so what is my w prime if you apply product rule, it is y1 into y2 double prime plus y1 prime y2 prime minus y2 prime y1 prime minus y2 y1 double prime. Now here this gets cancelled. y1. Now what is y2 double prime? Your y2 is the solution of this differential equation. So y2 double prime is equal to minus of p y2 prime minus q y2 so this is minus of p y2 prime minus q y2 similarly what is y1 double prime it is minus p y1 prime minus q y1 minus p y1 prime minus q y1 and now if i take out p outside y1 y2 prime plus y2 y1 prime because again that q terms will get cancelled out because of the opposite sign and this is nothing but minus p what is if i take out minus outside y1 y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime so i have w prime upon w is equal to minus p of x right and now you integrate both sides what is integration of this it is ln of w because the derivative of this in the numerator this is equal to minus p of x dx plus some constant c so therefore your Vronskian is nothing but e raised to minus integration p of x dx and e raised to c i am calling another constant so this is what Abel's formula is this is one version there is another version which I will tell you but this is what the formula is and I need the continuity of P because continuity of P guarantees that integration exists okay so you once you have the differential equation that means y double prime plus P y prime plus Q y equal to zero so once you have the differential equation you have your P so once you have your P you do this e raised to minus integration P of x dx so this tells that your Vronskian is a constant multiple of this so you can't tell me exactly what the Vronskian is but you can almost tell that it is some constant times this function if here ln comes out then the exponential will go away and if there is no ln in the power then it is a multiple of a exponential function so that's the first important use of this Abel's identity or Abel's formula that if you don't know y1 y2 simply with the help of p of x you can almost tell what my Vronskian is it is a constant multiple of a known function okay now suppose if you know the Vronskian at a given point suppose if you know the Vronskian at a given point 
सपोज एट टी नॉट और एट एक्स नॉट यू नो वॉट इज दियन ओके सो वॉट आई विल डू ओवर हियर इज आई विल इंटीग्रेट दिस फ्रॉम एक्स नॉट टू एक्स आई विल इंटीग्रेट दिस फ्रॉम एक्स नॉट टू एक्स ओके सो वॉट दिस विल बिकम एल एन ऑफ नॉट ऑफ डब्ल्यू एक्स नॉट टू एक्स दिस इज माइनस इंटीग्रेशन एक्स नॉट टू एक्स पी ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स दिस इज एल एन ऑफ डब्ल्यू ऑफ वाई वन वाई टू एट एक्स माइनस एल एन ऑफ डब्ल्यू ऑफ वाई वन वाई टू एट एक्स नॉट एट एक्स नॉट सपोज यू नो वॉट इज द ब्रॉन्स की ओके देन दिस इज वॉट यू हैव ओके एंड आई फाइव इट इज दिस थिंग एल एन ऑफ ए माइनस एल एन ऑफ बी इज एल एन ऑफ ए बाई बी एंड इफ आई टेक एल एन ऑन दैट साइड सो व्रॉन्सकियन एट एक्स अपॉन व्रॉन्सकियन एट एक्स नॉट आई टेक एल एन ऑन दैट साइड इट इज ई रेस टू माइनस इंटीग्रेशन एक्स नॉट टू एक्स पी ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स एंड यू टेक डब्ल्यू ऑफ एक्स नॉट ओवर हियर सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला so if you know the bronskian at a given point you have some interval suppose minus 100 comma 250 and in that interval you know the bronskian at some point then you can precisely tell me what is the bronskian using this formula so bronskian in terms of x is bronskian at a given point into e raised to minus integration x not to x so this is the second abel's formula which tells you that you can precisely tell what the bronskian is even if you don't know what are your y1 and y2 provided you should know p that is obviously given in the question extra thing you require is you should know bronskian at some point okay so that's why these are very important identities and formulas which helps you to find the bronskian even without knowing the solutions now suppose this is the question and i want to see what is the bronskian now from here you can see your p is nothing but minus 3 So what is the Wronskian of two y one by two? It is nothing but some constant into e raised to minus integration of p of x dx. So this implies I know that my Wronskian is some multiple of this exponential function, some constant multiple of e raised to three x. Okay, so see there is the beauty. So simply by looking at the uh, differential equation, I can tell almost what my Wronskian will be. let me take one more example now in this case what is my p it is 1 upon x don't take x okay the leading coefficient is not 1 so to divide by x square so it will be 1 upon x okay and therefore what is the bronskian of y1 y2 at x any x it is some constant e raised to minus integration 1 by x dx c e raised to minus ln x which is c upon x This is x raised to minus one. E raised to ln is of x raised to minus one is x raised to minus one, which is one upon x. So for this differential equation, your Wronskian is some multiple of one by x. Okay, and uh, homework. Tell me what is the Wronskian for this differential equation? What is the Wronskian for this differential equation so i hope the concept is clear or i will say i hope the abel's formula is clear to you if yes then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you